make the presentation bigger than yes to to read are you okay. guys ready or do you, do you need more time yeah i think we're ready do you You're see the, the presentation or... yes i can see it i can see okay. what... let's i'm gonna go and check how the rest of the group is doing the group the other group two groups are doing okay okay okay, okay. This one will be the presentation. Okay, an ethical but Okay guys, how are you doing with your presentation? Uh, Manuel, your microphone is off. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think we need five minutes, please. Five more minutes? Five more minutes, yes. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Okay. Um, are you guys ready? No yet. Okay. Um, how much time do you need? Um, I think a few minutes. Um. Um, okay. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna give you about four minutes. Okay. okay four more minutes. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Something. Is okay. I guess I'm just letting you know. Um, I went to check, and the other groups are not finished. So I'm gonna give you about. I'm gonna give them about four to five minutes more. Okay. Okay, okay. No okay. All right, perfect. Um, uh, that we, we can use or we can mention in a presentation, right? Okay. Uh, let me let me let me tell you uh, the example. Uh, four example, but there is a uh, one that I I I, I focused. To explain, right? Uh, let me tell you. Exploiting workers, okay. uh, tax locals, uh, overbilling, and dumping okay. toxins, right? But uh, I, I have I have an extract and, and, and that I, I, I understand better, uh, and, and I, I I I working in that. Uh, Exploiting workers. Okay. Okay. Uh, as you uh, as you know, uh, some business uh, choose uh, to increase the profit, maybe for the owners uh, or household or uh, holder share, shareholders. Uh, the the uh, at the expense of, of the worker listen uh, this is called explo exploitation uh, why because uh, they take advantage or or, or bosses or or uh, owners take advantage or of of the necess necessities for the workers. Uh, for example, when you are owner for uh, some cabin of uh, cell phone cell, right? Uh, you take advantage of the time uh, for your employee and you you put uh, many hours of work uh, because you you need to increase your your sales but the question is uh, do you pay enough uh, enough money to your uh, uh, subordinate or your or your employee if you don't do, if you don't this, 
and then you are uh, you are doing an unethical practice, right? This is a, a good example. Okay. Uh, what about your topic? Mm, I I so I uh, right when okay. a company sell a product of value okay. quality ah, at okay. expensive price okay. and uh, or sell product with defects. Ah, very good, great. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, go ahead. I think. <laughs> no, very good. It's okay. Very good, but tell me more. Me cuestan las palabras. Yes, I know. Como engañar a los engañar. Ay, voy a buscar engañar, permítame. Mm. Mm. No sé qué más poner. Eh, eh, es eh, engañar, pero la mejor palabra es, es mentir. Slide. Ah, mentir. Uh -huh. Que casi es lo mismo. Uh. Engañar al cliente es mentirle, así como. Es buena, mm. compañero. Full, shit, 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 mm -hmm. shit. Ah, bien raro. Trick. These are synon synonyms. Um, what I'm plodding when, okay. when I'm plodding, I'm plodding, uh, say, say bad thing at the boss, uh, of other employee, bad thing, um, but, but thing, uh, we um, all of other other employees. Como que lo ponen mal. Ah, uh, for example, eh, eh, in department in the sales department, mm -hmm. the sales department, eh, the part department eh, as a seller vendedor seller yes a seller eh, seller um, has has a contract o o a, a seller speak speak with with a uh, customer, sorry. Are you guys ready? Yes, yeah, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can do it. We okay. Can do it. <laughs> you you.
Okay, guys. We are all ready. If you guys can turn on back your cameras, because I can only see like half the class right now. Okay. If you guys can do me that favor of turning on your cameras. Okay. Um, Jorge, hey there, Mario Ernesto, are you there? Jorge, Mario Ernesto, are you there? Okay, well, we're going to start. Um, we will start with the first group which um, on my screen appears to be um, Jennifer, Jorge Humberto, eh? but I don't know if Jorge Humberto is there. Oh, there he is, okay. Okay. Yes, okay. All right, so we have uh, Jennifer and Jorge Humberto. All right, we are ready for your presentation. Okay, Jennifer, share the, the presentation. Okay. Will you see my screen? Yes, I can. Can we start? Yes, of course. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, unethical values. Uh, we can understand for unethical values, anything that falls below a minimum standard of business code of conduct that there are not uh, um, um, a good behavior and in, in, not just in public, right? And there are actions that are against social norms or acts that are considered unacceptable to, to the public. And we have some examples. Manipulation, taking advantage of misfortune, falsifying the product or service to fulfill the target. And one example of manipulation could be the war, where people um, start a war because they can have, they can get benefits on that. And it's not that is a, um, a valid action to hurt people or damage a country to get the benefits. I like the burger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the advertising is a big, the Big Mac, <laughs> hmm. but the reality is a, it's a bread with, with mm -hmm. meat. <laughs> I like it, very good. Jorge, you want to continue? Okay, um, uh, like uh, my classmate Jennifer said before, unethical values is all the opposite to ethical values. Uh, we have some examples that uh, can clarify this, this definition. For example, money under the table. Uh, as we know, many of the, the biggest contract in this, in this world um, uh, has from uh, unethical, um, how do you say, agreements, Ag agreements maybe between people that uh, help to other because they expect uh, has some benefits. Uh, most of the time is easy money. 
or like the title said money on, under the table. You can see in the, in the in the picture, maybe for the next example in moral leadership, that uh, one boss can the opportunity sometimes to to get some benefits uh, uh, by contracting some people with uh, all the the process that the, that that maybe the company has to be complete uh, that can happen also in, in the government to make some favors for some companies that they can in in a regular condition uh, win a, a millionaire contract for example sorry um, did you did you say to contract people or to hire people uh to to hire a, a company yeah. okay okay yeah hire okay good sorry i just wanted to make sure that could be outsourcing yes could be and also we have a like picture that manuel likes is false advertising. Uh, most of the time, we we saw in the social media and all of the of the medias that they that the people share some some ads, imagine of the product that not always are the the, the reality. Because when we get the product, maybe if you buy something in the internet, uh, you have expect something that uh, in the same condition that you you see the, the the picture before you 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 buy that product. But the reality not always is the if that you uh, get. Uh, the product that you are expecting maybe can change the the size of, the size of the the product or the quality or the or the color but the main idea of this uh, of this topic is that uh, not always that you can see in the advertising is it's true and that is the that we uh, prepare for, for this small presentation. This is it, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Excellent job. Very, very good. Okay. All right. Next group that we have is see, uh, we have Manuel Antonio. Mario Ernesto and Wendy. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, we we was working about uh, unethical business practices. Business practices, right? Uh, when when we talk about the uh, unethical business practice, we can mention uh, a few a few examples because uh, the meaning in this uh, the, the meaning of this is uh, the action it refers to action that don't fit with a business. Uh, also, when the standards uh, are don't are acceptable, and I have a aren't I have acceptable. A, are acceptable. Yeah, okay. don't don't aren't. Uh -huh. Are acceptable. Okay. Uh, I have in particular one uh, is exploiting workers. Uh, there are many ways. Uh, 
uh, that business businesses engage in unethical conduct, exploiting their workers, their customers, and even uh, the the public at large. But when I but in this opportunity, I, I, exploiting workers is the topic. Uh, as you know, uh, some business uh, choose to increase the the profit for the owners, uh, but at the expenses of their workers. This is a, a, a this is exploit exploitation. Uh, for example, you you know a uh, uh, many. Uh, famous uh, brands of shoes or or a uh, dress. How do you say vestimenta dress? It's, it's a, it, a particular. Yeah. yeah, you can say dress or um, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. specific. Okay. Very good, but uh, if you uh, taking for a. Uh, information where this have uh, they have the uh, manufacturer plant uh, you uh, you can uh, you, you you can impress impression because for example uh, in in countries like uh, Asia, uh, Thailand and India, uh, they pay uh, a low benefit to their employees. And in many cases, the workers are, are children, right? That they, they, don't, uh, they don't have the legal age to work. Uh, also, they may manufacture their goods in countries that don't have uh, laws, uh, labor laws that protect their workers, right? Uh, including allowing, yes, forced uh, labor uh, for children, young, and some companies have been found a, a violation or or the rights of employees because they take advantage of necessity to their to the the, the particular uh, group of people and then a continuation uh, my classmate Wendy give us some information. Okay. Unerical organization culture, uh, for example, when a company sells a product of bad quality at expensive price. Or other example is uh, uh, sell products with defect in, in equal expensive at expensive price. Um, other example when an uh, employee say bad things or other employees uh, at at the bus or or a manager. Um, uh, other example is sell department. For example, a seller has a contract or a customer, and other sell sell take the customer. <coughs> Take the customer or take the contract or uh, all the same customer. Is is my example. Are my example. Sorry. Okay. Are you finished? Is that all? Yes, teacher. That's all. Yes. Okay. Very Thank good. Okay. Thank you very much. Excellent. Very good job. Okay. Um, okay, who is, okay, so then we have one more group, which is, uh, let me see, this group is um, Christ, Christia, 
uh, Suleima and Susana. Okay, <clears throat> numerical value. Uh, numerical is defined as not meeting the requirement to accept values of social or professional behavior, numerical business practice. For example, <clears throat> customers overbilling. Overbilling is charging people a mislead, misleading amount, such as charging someone for five hours of work, even though um, job only two, took two. And second example, <clears throat> misleading advertising is a false False advertising is a statement in advertising that is false or misleading in an attempt to mislead the audience. Okay, we have another example. Uh, number three is being incident in the sense in our way of dressing because uh, we consider that we need to have a good presentation when we are in the in the company and number four not being prudent if you have a love relationship within the workplace um as all we know that in the majority of the companies is um not permit to have a relationship but in some companies, they 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 have relationship between them, but uh, they need to be prudent. Uh, the next one being too extroverted in our workplace, since we must respect the rest. And number five, filter with our colleagues, our co-workers, and numbers, uh, and and the last one is being dishonest with our bosses. And that's okay. All. Can I ask you about number five? What do you mean by filter with our colleagues or co co-workers? Filter, filter with our colleagues or co-worker. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I think we try to to we try to explain something like gossip. I think gossip. Yes, I think filter is not the correct word. <laughs> okay, or are you trying to say maybe flirt? Filter um, or flirt. I I don't know what is flirt. Flirt, um, filtrear. Filter, um, yes, no. could be. So, in English, is fil oh. flirt. Huh? Sorry? And filtrear in English is flirt. It's flirt, yeah. So, I, I don't know wow. if you were, that's what you were trying to say or you, you had yeah, another idea. Yeah. No, I want to say filtrear, but I mm. don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I think that's filter. <laughs> okay. Okay. No problem. All right. Okay. So flirt with colleagues or coworkers. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Round of applause. Excellent, guys. Very good job. Okay. So there are quite a bit of um of uh unethical practices that you have um, experienced. I'm glad you guys did the presentation because we're gonna be um, using those presentations tomorrow. So um, yeah, it's gonna be, and it's gonna be very useful that you have them so you can remember. Okay, so we have come to the end of our class today. So we're just going to be taking our attendance before we finish off. Um, we're gonna start with Grisia.
Use five cents. Perfect. Delbert. Delbert. Diana. Diana. Uh, Jennifer. Present. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Jorge. Present, teacher. Excellent. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay. Right. Excellent. Um, Maria Elena. Present, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Maria Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. <clears throat> Mario Ernesto. Um, what about Mario Jose? Mario Jose? Not here either. Ningún Mario. Okay. Uh, Norma? Romario? Presentation. Oh, oh, okay. Mario Ernesto is here. Okay. Romario. Okay. Um, what about uh, Suleima? Silvia Suleima? Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Susana? Present teacher. Excellent. And uh, Wendy Maribel? Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Um, so Wendy, um, if you can stay after the class, um, we're going to be having our one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. Everybody else, um, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. See you, everybody. See you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Okay. All right, Wendy. So um, this is your okay. session. Do you have any questions, okay. anything um, that I can help you with in the platform or any of the things that we've seen in class? Um, yes. Um, it's it difficult for me uh, the new word. Um, I I need a clay 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 um system uh, for for speak up uh, I I remember more words because that is difficult for me to uh, create sentence com complete sentence. Okay. And I I speak uh um hello or or word separate in in no in no sentence no complete sentence. Mm -hmm. It's it's difficult. Okay. Uh, it's difficult for me. Okay. Um. So the first thing is that you need to um you need to have more practice, Wendy. Do you okay. practice um do you practice like how do you practice your English other than in class? How do you practice? Only only in the class. Only in class. Okay, so that's the that's number one. You need to find a way of practicing English outside of the of the class because in the end, Wendy, you're not learning English to speak in class. You're learning English to be able to use in your everyday life. Right? So you have to find a way of using the language in your everyday life. So what opportunities do you have in your everyday life to practice? In opportunities? Yeah. What opportunities do you have? Only, only uh, I speak in, how do you say, grabar? Uh, record? Audio. I, I don't, I don't, I haven't other person with practice you don't have anybody no. else to practice with 
No. No, nothing. Okay. Um, do you, what about at work? Can you practice with anybody at work? No. My boss, no. No, not in English. Your boss doesn't speak English. No, not doesn't speak English. Doesn't speak English. Okay. Um, what about co-workers? Do you have any co-workers that speak English? No, only I I am only employee. You're the only employee. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, do you spend all your day alone or do you spend like do you have like are there moments where you are alone in your workplace? No, I don't know. Uh, no, I don't understand. Are there any moments in your workplace when you are alone? Other, other like person. you say that yeah you yeah exactly so you say that you don't have any co-workers are there any moments that you are alone in the office no you're always with people um, no speak uh, people speak english no no, 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 no. Okay, let's listen to my question. Is there any moment during the day that you are alone, no people in the office? Mm, I don't understand. You okay, so you don't have co-workers? No, no co-workers. Okay. So what about your boss? Is your boss always at the at the office? Yeah, my boss, what? Yeah, is your boss in the office? Yes. Okay, so office. your boss is in the office. And can you practice with your boss? No. No? My boss da doesn't speak English, no. Your boss doesn't speak English. Okay, no. can you use headphones? Can you use mm. headphones? Headphones. Uh, I speak in headphones. Me. No. Can you use? I... Can you use? Can you use headphones? Headphones. Can you use them in the workplace? Yes. Yes. In the work. No. No. In the work. No. No. You can't use. You. No. Is there any moment when you are alone? No people. In the office. Uh, in in what moment people? Only in my lunch. Okay. All right. The reason why I'm asking is because the first thing you need to do, Wendy, is to be able to speak better. You need to be able to understand English better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. you cannot speak a language if you do not understand the language. So the first yeah. thing you need to do is um, be able to, uh, to listen more. So you need to like put videos, for example, videos maybe on YouTube, listening to English, listen yeah. to the, um, the pronunciation of people, listen to, um, how people structure the intonation. Listen and try to repeat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you hear and you try to repeat it. Okay. Okay. That's that's okay. the first thing you should try to do. Okay. Okay. So I recommend. My recommendation is. Um, Try whenever you can to listen to videos, to music, to um, series, to movies in English. Listen, okay. listen, listen, listen. And then try to repeat. Try to okay. repeat the words. Like try to repeat it so that you sound 
like those, like the people that are like, try to make it native speakers, okay, if possible. Okay, can, okay so, and try to repeat. Then okay. another thing I can suggest is, um, what about at, at home? Do you have anybody you can practice English with at home? Practice at home. Mm, no. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, no. In my in my room. Uh, no, no. Do you have people what? in your house you can practice with? Ah, uh, no. no, no. My parents, my parents, no, not speak English. Um, my father, I know. Uh, mm -hmm. With my father. Um, with my father, it's a good idea. With your father. Okay, with good. Father. So then try to practice um, English with your father. Okay. okay, try to practice okay. as much as possible with your father. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. And um, if you have friends, call your friends. Practice in English. Tell them I I need to practice 10, 15 minutes of English every day, every day. Okay. Yeah. Because remember, okay. the idea is that you want to practice. You want to learn English to use English outside of the class. So you have to yeah. create situations where you're going to use English outside of the class, because. Okay. You know, inside of the classes, that's not realistic. Okay. It's not realistic. Like in in reality, you don't learn a language to use in class, right? That's just practice. Okay. But in real life, what what do you do to use it in your everyday life? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, I will recommend. Um. I will. I'm going to send um this website for you. Ah, okay. Um, that you can use. Yeah. Um, to practice listening, I know that you listening. need to practice speaking, but like I said yeah. before, um, it's if you can't understand the language, you won't be able to speak the language so you first okay. you need to be able to listen understand it and try to repeat if possible try to repeat it okay um so okay. Then, um then my in in the chat or yeah WhatsApp or yeah I'm, um i'm going to share in the in the chat yeah. Okay. Right now. No, can you see, can you see uh, it? Uh, no. Oh, I'm okay. in the yeah, in in the yeah. Zoom yeah. The Zoom chat. Yeah. No, yeah, I forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um open it and you will see that there are a, there are three levels. Easy, okay. intermediate, and difficult. Okay. You choose the one that is best a, for you. Voy a, voy a okay. Choose the one that's copiar. better for you. <laughs> what? Choose the one that is better for you. Okay. So easy, intermediate, or difficult. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and whatever works for you, try that. If it's too easy, go to the next level. If it's too difficult, then go go down, right? To so if you're doing intermediate and it's too difficult, go to easy. If you're doing easy and it's too difficult, sorry, it's, if it's too easy, go to intermediate. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? Intermediate. Intermediate level. Oh, yeah, like if it's too easy, 
like you're 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 doing something and you're like oh this is too easy then go to the next level so if you're doing easy go to intermediate if you're doing intermediate go to more difficult or okay. the opposite if it's too difficult then go down right so okay. um if it you you can do for example if you're doing difficult to go to intermediate or if you're in intermediate go to easy oh okay in mental mental first if no yeah see whatever my, works for you mind, in my mind no no is no is difficult no it isn't. I, it isn't I say difficult. It is, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So see whatever works for you. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. okay. Um. Is there anything else I can help you with, Wendy? Okay. Um. Oh, oh, okay. That. Okay. Like yeah. I said, so Thank practice you. practice listening first. Practice okay. listening. Okay. Listen. And yeah, listening, listen, listening. And mm -hmm. the more you listen, the better you will be in speaking. Okay. 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 Great. All right, Wendy, take care and um, have a good Thank evening. You. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay. Blessing. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.